Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of the Questions You Did Not Ask. I'm Stan. I'm Jeremy. And I'm the girl your mom warned you about. That's not true. That's not true at all. Uh, he's not a girl. We have a we have a, a fun-filled episode for you today. We do. When, when do you want to do your thing? I think it should be the most surprising time. Period. Perfect. Nobody expects it. <laughs> no one will expect it. Perfect. At some point. We'll be monitoring the comments as best we can, so ask your questions and we will try to answer them. We hope you're liking the light show behind us. It's a very slow turn of colors, but it is where it is. All right. We don't want any other I have the first question for Aaron. Finish the lyric. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon. What? I have no idea. Uh, you don't know the song Regulators? I played drums. So I'm sorry, man. All right, well, moving on. Who's got the Regulators. next question? This, this one's to both Mauna. of you. Mauna! Mauna! This, this one's actually to both of you, so... Erica's here. Let's say hello to Erica. One, two, three. What up? Hello, hello. Erica! That, we're, we'll, never mind. We'll we're days, not doing we're that anymore. That, you know. <laughs> it's very easy. So anyways, so my first question is both of you. You can answer, you know, not in sim, whatever. Um, if you were in a horror movie, what would your weapon of choice be? Well, okay. So I have questions. Because there's a lot of different horror genres. Like, are you talking zombies? Are you talking about, like, if you're, like, if you were the killer. If you were the killer. Oh, you're the killer. If you were the well, killer. I'm the killer. If you were the killer in a horror film, what would you, what weapon, of, what, what's your weapon of choice? Dude, a blunderbuss that only shoots hot dogs. <laughs> You can't steal that from that movie. What movie? Uh, whatever movie they get blunderbusses and he keeps going back in time and, and you shoot people who show up with some sort of sack over their head and if you remove the sack you die or... I don't know what movie that what is but I want to see it. it. <laughs> so I'm going to find it. Um, it's, actually, it's actually a really good movie. This um, might have been a dream. No, it's, it's a really... It's hey guys! Movie. Rachel's watching. Let's say hello what to What up Rachel? Rachel? Okay. Oh shit. So anyways, what's your weapon of choice? He wants blunderbutts with hot dogs, yep. which I don't think he's going to kill anybody like McDonald's, but anyways. Well, okay. I think in any situation, just a good old axe is probably your best way to go. Like, if you've got the mental fortitude to be able to, like, hack someone up, then, like, axe is the way to go. It's quiet. You can get rid of it very easily. It doesn't, like, it doesn't make a sound like a blunderbuss, and you don't leave hot dogs laying around. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, like, <laughs> the hot dog deal. killer was definitely The <laughs> hot dog killer starts right, again. Right, along with the wet bandits that leave the water. <laughs> <laughs> you don't yeah. want that. Um, so, like, you can easily cut, like, you can hack up the body so okay, that way you can okay. get rid of it easier. So, if there's no body, there's no crime. So an axe. What? Okay, axe, axe blunderbuss. All right, all right. What about you, Jeremy? Yeah. Oof, I'm going to go with machete. Machete. All right. Yeah. Similar to an axe. Yep. Yeah, similar like... to an axe, but a lot, you know, lighter mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. much bigger blade because I'm not sure I'm going to yeah. be that precise. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. For sure. That makes sense. I hear it's good for going through doors, though. So I mean, Machetes? No axes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and shout we just out. went full circle. Shout out to The Shining. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> What up, Stephen King? Yeah, Stephen King, <laughs> hell yeah. Also, shout out to My Mighty Swell. Um, <laughs> if you want to contact cool. us, we will give you some uh, positive criticism to make it better. Yeah, Mighty Swell, better. these are not my favorite seltzers. Maybe, no. maybe we add flavor to it. They're Mighty Average. I am not happy, oh, look but at I you will being continue all smart to drink. Mighty Average. Spoken like an alcoholic. All right, so it's, uh, it's your question, Mr. Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want this. All right, here we go. You don't want, you don't want a piece of me. <laughs> hmm. Well, which one are you going to ask? Uh, oh, Todd says he picks a katana for his weapon. Katana? Oh, okay, Very well, good that's, that's right there with machete. Speed, yep, sharpness. Yep, yep. yep. I can do it. Yeah, but if I you hit somebody sideways, speed. it breaks. So, Wait, can you, you know, pick a person? Maybe he's talking about katana from Mortal Kombat. Maybe that's just going to be like his weapon, the woman with the sword. Well, then if that's the case, I would. I would, I would yeah, I'm, in a zombie apocalypse, in a me? horror movie, I'm would, gonna pick a human. I would carry it or okay. something from a okay, fake okay. video game. And and ask your question. Hey, Jeremy. Yo. What is the best way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aaron. What's the best way to? What's the best way? What? Oh lord. What's the best way to going? break a person? To break a person mentally or physically? Yes. Hey guys, Mike is here. Hi, Mike. What up, Mike? Hey, Breen. 
Uh, physically or mentally? Yes. It's crazy. I need well. both. Oh, I'm you need, need both. both. Well, physically, I would throw him off a building. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. That's mentally, a good way to break mentally, them, yes. I would put them in front of a TV with Teletubbies on repeat. Like a Clockwork Orange type situation. Oh, yeah, except with Teletubbies and just <laughs> let it go until they cry and break. Shout out to Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, Matthew Teletubbies. Stanley. Hey. Good people to open up for you. Cassie's here. <laughs> Let's say hi to Cassie. One, two, three. Hi, Cassie. Hey, Cassie. Cass- Cass- okay. See. All the way from Mississippi. Uh, nice, nice. So, like, what would the what would the Teletubbies version of a Clockwork Orange be? Like a, well, anything that's on Chrono repeat. Craft anything red. that's on repeat would be... <laughs> All right, all right, we're getting off, we're getting off track here. All right, right. Jeremy. Yo, I just got, uh, yeah. Is cereal soup? Whoa. Why or why not? Oh, it's definitely soup. It floats in milk. That makes it soup. You can warm it up. Cream of wheat makes soup. Cream of wheat? Cream of wheat is soup. All right. <laughs> if it floats in milk, that's soup for you? It can be. Is that, is that can, the prerequisite? If it floats. I think I, everything floats. I honestly we love that, here. Mi- that <laughs> milk floats, tomato soup. If it soup. floats, that's Everybody that floats. <laughs> Oh, shout out to Steve. Holly's King. here. One, two, three. What up, Hi, Holly? Holly? Is that healing with Holly that's here? Oh, Dean is here too. Oh, what's nice. up, Dean? Love it, love it. Getting some serious love from friends tonight. Thank you guys for all tuning in. Uh, Aaron, this is for you. Uh oh. Do you prefer bottled water or tap water? I don't drink water. And you have it, folks. He doesn't drink water. My wife can attest to it. I haven't drank water in. It's been a while, boys. Right. It's been a while. That's not no, good. No, that's not good for you. No, no, no. Here's, okay. So, I can't wait to hear this. Here we go. 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 Just FYI. Yes, this is seltzer. There's Usually I'm drinking beer. Okay, so uh, hear me out. Um, <laughs> we're getting... This is going to sound crazy. Okay, no, no, no. Really? because it is crazy. There, there are scientific studies, peer-reviewed studies. Oh, peer-reviewed. Hear me? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm serious. Did there are actual... A big word? Peer? You guys know, like, my background wait, is wait, in science. Wait, wait, I literally wait, 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 have wait, wait, a, like, a fucking science. degree in science. Anyway, yes, so, yes, science. <laughs> real talk, there was studies as to what hydrates you more, like, and they use, like, juice, soda, beer, coffee, yeah. Things water. Things with electrolytes, obviously. Milk. And turns out, milk keeps you more hydrated than water. Because they think that the macromolecule profile of the milk, like the you know the carbs and the fats and the proteins, okay. actually helps absorb the water and then hold on to the water. So people who drink milk become more hydrated and then also retain that hydration over a longer period of time. So if you want to become hydrated, Anchorman had the right choice where very he drank nice, milk. Very nice putting the, uh, the, the subtitles. The on. crazy thing to me is like uh, that is a peer review. They don't give thing. you like an IV of milk. Right. Well, okay, so that's different. Oh, but whatever. Oh, anyway. There we go. That's um, stay so hydrated longer. Drink milk. Just so you know. I'm not paid by big milk. Dean, big milk. Dean, who is actually a PhD, says Wood, Woodford's bourbon is good, better, real talk. I think I think Dean and I are on the same page. Woodford Reserve? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mike has a question. What is your favorite beer? <laughs> what is your favorite beer? Mine. I've got a couple. Just one. Just pick one. Okay, Jeremy, you well, got it? That's only a half hour show. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I would drink Heineken. Just however Heineken. Long long. Yeah. Okay, go for you. Well, if I had to pick one. Yeah. PBR. Shout gotta, out. Gotta Shout go with out. the pants. Right and, you know, I'm a, I'm a fancy boy, so I'm going to go with the champagne of beers. You're going to go with High Life? The High Life. Oh. Shout out to all our... Uh, beers that we just said also, i forgot them all right also to pap uh, theater if you'd like us to play we, uh, ayo paps anytime, group anytime also todd just said uh brando is the best drink because it has electrolytes it has what plants crave brando it's a thirst mutilator Powerade? you've never seen the movie idiocracy yeah i mean i saw it like 15 years oh, ago i'm sorry guys dude you haven't even been alive 15 years, hey, you've been alive 15 years. okay next question aaron <laughs> okay. we're gonna get real who's your favorite drummer travis parker why is he your favorite drummer? Um, he was the first drummer that I ever realized was an actual drummer. Like, I've, I, I've been playing since I was, like, 13, so, of course, there's, like, that weird, like, teenage punk, goth, whatever, yeah. rebellious phase. Mm-hmm. Um, and thinking about Blink-182 being rebellious and punk is kind of funny now, but, like... I like Blink-182. Yeah, no, I mean, they're... For the record, they're amazing. I'm seeing them in June, so there's that. Anyway... And we might be opening for them in, what? 
<laughs> no, but Travis Barker is my favorite drummer, and then from there it goes like, oh my god, it's a top. Seagak, Christopher Tzagikis from Arx Bandit, Sound of Animals Fighting. Shout out to that guy. He's incredible. One of the most underrated drummers. And then uh, Annika Niles. You know the crazy thing is like I did not ask for a top three. Oh, uh, okay, well, you're going to get one. Travis Barker's number one. He is, yeah, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to nail down. There's yeah. too many talented people out there. Like, you got Travis Barker. Like, Stan, Barker, like what's your, who's your favorite guitarist? Steve Ray Vaughan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I <didn't. laughs> wow, dude. Was There's no fun. taunting. It wasn't supposed no to come taunting. across so brutal. Oh, well, so this, aggressive. Is, this is going to be weird, because my next question to you Hold is... On. Are, where yeah. are you from again? Originally. Like, where were you born? Where was I born? Maine. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Mike. Venus. He's from Seattle. What up, Seattle? And uh, all they have are IPAs. And yes. It is a massive drag. West West Coast is notorious for how how much IPAs they have. I am from Reno, and I had spent some time in Southern California. IPAs are the scourge of the beer world. If you like IPAs, I like New England style IPAs. Shout out to Hops. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the letters I, P, and A. I, P, A, lot. Yes. <laughs> I, I, All right, I who's like got the next question? Stan, this, one, like this one is for you. <laughs> Hit me with it, Jeremy. What is your f- biggest phobia? Oh, oh my gosh. Nobody's ever asked me this before, but this is my biggest phobia. Bathroom doors do not have windows for obvious reasons. My biggest phobia is that I will be reaching for that handle while somebody has is having a code brown emergency, and they come flying through that door and just absolutely demolish my hand. A code brown? Yes, they need What's the poop. What's a code brown? I'm exiting. They need the poop because they have diarrhea. I reach for the door. Bam. Hands done for. You know, that's why they use that foot lift, you know, thing where you open the door with your o- foot. Okay, so then they ruin my foot. <laughs> Either way, they're going to ruin some oh, limb you, of my body. When you play guitar think, with your foot, what are you so worried about your feet? I think we really hit a sore spot on yeah. this. Wow, code brown, code brown. Well, anybody rushing into the bathroom for any reason. I know hey, so I'm, guess what, you guys? I know what I'm saying on the mic later. We've been promoting a super secret giveaway, right? Super secret. Super secret. This is a good segue for this. Um, <clears throat> I know that I've been the, telling you guys. The bathroom thing? Shh. Okay. Uh, I've been, excuse me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've been telling you guys, I'm going to give you a super secret password. Super secret. Here it is. But first. <laughs> it's not here it is. But wait. But wait. More. I'm going to delay this more. If. So stay tuned. If you guys can come up and tell someone. Someone. In the band, obviously. Yes, in the band. In the band. Someone in the band. When we ask for the super secret password or so, we didn't plan this out yet yeah this, this was really <laughs> this i'm now anyways, realizing we didn't figure anyways we're gonna give a moment to at some the point we're at some point a... on friday at some point on friday at yes. the bar yes. in west Dallas. west Dallas at the bar, the bar. with eponymous eponymous this is not how you pronounce it no not even close. it's eponymous okay. anyway so at some point we'll probably ask about some super secret password which is what we're talking about right now. And if you can say the super secret password, then you will win these fine items, like this bottle cap opener that I've been playing around with in my hand this whole time. That's a Midnight Crow It's branded. a Midnight Crow branded special edition bottle cap. Bottle opener. <laughs> Words are hard, but he has yeah. a degree in science. Whatever. Anyway, working, to go along with your bottle on, cap opener, you'll get a Midnight Crow Koozie. Is there anything in the koozie? Oh my god, there is. Oh, oh and it's a sticker! Oh, it's upside more. down! But you can place it right side up. We won't even throw extra stuff in. We'll right. probably say hi, even. Or like give you a high five. Or a we sweaty might give hug. give you the shirt a right off of, off of Aaron's back. I may yeah. or may not have a shirt at that point, so you can have it, probably. Right, right. So, what is the super secret password? Well, at to, some you, point, you'll have to tune in tonight. On Friday, when we play a live set in West Dallas, Wisconsin. At the bar. At the bar. Opening for <clears throat> eponymous. We're not opening it. We're just playing first. We're playing first. Hi. This is Creeper. When we play, at some point, hopefully Stan will remember, to ask what my favorite number is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if you guys 
can tell someone. <laughs> Just shout it out. That my favorite number. My favorite. <laughs> you can't see over here. <laughs> my favorite number. <coughs> 72. That's your super secret password. That's the answer to Stan's question. My favorite number, one more time, is 72. If you can tell us that, you'll get all this sweet... <laughs> I told you. <laughs> this is going moved. so poorly. It's so good. You'll get all this sweet this is, shit. This is, uh... Mic drop. Okay. All right. Yeah, On that note. Sorry about oh my that. God. Back. I'm We're so back. sorry We're that back. took so long. Jeremy. To build up yeah, I, I did not are work. we still even here? How? Shout out to Mighty Swill. I'm going to have another. Right. <laughs> How like many me. chickens would it take to kill an elephant? Hmm, a lot. Well, actually, one if it's placed right. I mean, you know. Okay. What's the placement? Right in the throat of an elephant, and it would choke, and that would be it. So one chicken. Like you okay. just put a chicken inside of an elephant's throat? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Devious. All right, so making lighter, better things. <laughs> About killing things. Yeah, oh, never mind. Here's one about yeah. that. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask my question. So, do you play uh, do you play bad cop or good cop at home? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, we're Are you uh, the good cop or the bad cop. We're full on a cab. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, Tyler's watching. Let's say hi, Tyler. One, two, three. <laughs> what hey, up, Tyler? Hi, Tyler. No, I would. I would always be the bad cop. Okay. All right, go moving on, moving on. Stan, this one's for you. Okay. Always. If you could swim with any kind of fish in the ocean, what would it be? Dirty. <sighs> any kind of fish yep. in the ocean. What would I you want to swim with? Dirty cop boys. This is going to be a thinker for him. He's going to be thinking about this all night long now. All night long. Uh, I, shoot, I don't know, man. A hammerhead shark? I feel like it has handles. <laughs> like a pretty good choice. <laughs> How would you feel? Yeah, there we go. If you were just like, oh, Bailey's out. watching too. One, two, what three. Up? Hi, Bailey. Oh, Bailey, come on, you guys. Hey, Bailey is the name of the king's mascot. So, what up, Bailey? What up, Bailey? Anyways, moving on. <laughs> yep, I'm going hammerhead shark because it has handles. Okay. Okay. Wait. Can you ride a sea? Is a seahorse a fish? Yeah. No, yeah, you could definitely ride a seahorse. Oh, I think so. You could definitely. Okay, I'm ride going seahorse sea then. I need you to say that you would want to ride a seahorse. I would run. I would want to save a. Sea- yes, I would ride a seahorse. Save seahorse, ride, <laughs> ride a sea man. <laughs> <Dang it. laughs> this is not going well. We're doing great, you guys. Hey, Stan. Hey, Aaron. Right. Oh God, here we go. Oh, Tyler says go wild. We took Fiala. Let's let's not start. Let's not start on hockey. We took right? Fiala. Yeah. So, uh, he's doing great. It's all about the us. avalanche. That's for another show. That's for another show. Please, uh, ESPN comes on after us. Hey, Stan. Hey, Aaron. <sighs> Eat, marry, or kill. Oh. Here we go. No. I want to take a drink. Your wife, so your firstborn, or your secondborn? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Which one is it? We should have made him. <laughs> Which one is we it? Have, we should have never left him unattended. <laughs> hey, why don't we circle, I need to why don't we circle your back? Choices, I have to do all three to one or what? Why don't we you, circle no, back? No, no, no. You have to pick which one you would do to which. Why don't we just you circle gotta back? You got to eat, marry one. one. You got to marry one. <laughs> Kill one. I plead the fifth. I can't answer that question. <laughs> What's wrong with you? No balls. It's the best, best thing to say. I would. I can't say it. <laughs> nope. Okay. Not saying it. All right, moving on. (laughs) Tell me there's a question in the chat. Okay, no questions in the chat. I can leave it. Aaron. Yes. If you could start any conspiracy theory, what would it be? Oh, Lord. (laughs) The Lizzie Borden didn't do it. (sighs) Like, she didn't do it. I I knew that's what it was going to be. Why would you even ask that question? Dude, I knew that's what it was going to be. We need to clear her name. There's no way that Because I thought maybe he'd get creative and not be lame. Maybe you will get Welcome to the shit show. So, uh, you got a question here, buddy? I do. Why 72? Okay, 
funny. Because he was born in 1972. He's the oldest one out of all of us. 1872, actually. Oh, sorry. Four no. score and 17 years ago. Roamed. There's a lot of... <laughs> oh, hold on. Ronald is watching. One, two, three. What up? Hey, Ronald. Oh, my gosh, you guys. At least I said so. No, 72 is a cool number because it's really divisible by a lot of numbers. Um, like, one, 13, two, three... It's divisible by four, not five. I don't think it's divisible by six, but it might be. I think it is. No, it is. And not seven. If it's divisible by three, it means it's definitely divisible eight. By six, right? yep. It's divisible by nine. And, hey, Bailey, what up? Bailey's number is 72. Also, when I joined the military, the 72nd MP company was my first assignment. That's amazing. Look at all those 72. Really, a lot of coincidences. Yeah. So 72 is the number. Really affirming my number. Jeremy, we have a question in the chat, buddy. You ready for it? Thank God. Jeremy, what is the best bass line out there, in your opinion, any genre? I mean, there's a right answer, and then there's. Yeah, I'm really excited to hear this. There's no real. uh, The first bass line that comes to mind. Is another one bites the dust. I knew it. Um, Whoa! Just because it gets you going, it pumps you up. Yeah. Um, oh, hey guys, what up? Ronald's watching. Hey, Ronald. What up, you Ronald? already said that. No, did I? No, I didn't. Did I? Should we? Should we try to well, give a whatever. shout out to Ron? Like, what Ron? up, Ronald? Yeah, wait, 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 let's try this. One, two, three. What, what up, Ron? Look at how that works. Yeah, Aaron didn't say anything. Yeah, we should. We should maybe make a band. Nah. <laughs> we are so good at music. The I'm be- so good at timing. The best. Hey guys, so no ask one me what the us. most important thing about comedy is. Yeah, timing. Uh, okay. Cassie asks <laughs> Wait, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy's oh, getting all the love tonight. You're supposed to realize, ask me. You're supposed to realize, ask me. I didn't realize that was a joke. Jeremy. <laughs> yes. Uh, did you ever learn the banjo? I did learn some banjo. I can pluck a little bit uh, in honor for my, my father, but uh, I do own a couple of banjos. Um call myself a banjo player. Yeah, I would go that far. Oh, Jessica's watching. What up? Hello. One, two, three. Jessica. Hey, Jess- oh, come on. Is that your wife, Jess? That is my wife, yeah. Hey, I mean- just so you know, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> We're in your basement. <laughs> Dan would not answer whether he would kill you or eat you. So. Um, but Tyler, Thank going back to your... Ice. Ice. <laughs> Tyler, I'm going sorry. back to your question, the best bass line is the entirety of the song Portrait of Tracy by Jaco Pastorius. Uh, excuse me anybody who tells you any different is wrong if you don't know the song go look and I just changed your life as a bass player forever no. Maxwell Murder by Rancid <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> no it's got a crazy bass okay uh, Jeremy yes what sport would be best to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to oh my god golf <laughs> okay that's I feel like you're a golfer. Like you already add a mandatory amount of golf. No, no, we don't. I mean, there's no mandatory rules. But I'm talking about. I would love to see Tiger Woods just hammered. Every time he does that, absolutely hammered. Every time he does that, he crashes his car. Granted, John Daly is already on that path. So, John, shout out to you. (laughs) You do amazing considering you drink beer while you tee off. But last year, you need to get you need to get others on your level to uh, golf with you. Um, either that or synchronized swimming, I think would be dangerous. <laughs> if they had to oh slam, God. if they had to slam, like, to whoa. People. If they had to slam, like, shots every time they got to the side of the pool, yes. I think. That could like a mandatory, like, like, sixer. Well, you know. Right the, before you go into the water you know, to swim the, uh, around. You know, can you imagine being a lifeguard at the Olympics? Like, you really <laughs> what's, feel, the, what's the point? Like, if I'm useless. If they start <laughs> drinking, you These might people are chance. literally the best in the world. Right. <laughs> right, so do. you pretty much have a good chance of maybe getting to, sh- to save somebody's life. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. That, that's... Shout out to lifeguards. <laughs> yeah, we love you guys. Guarding our lives. Making the pool a safe place. Right, right. Not right now. We can dump our kids off so they can swim. And we're in Wisconsin. Okay, I'll ask you a question since we're on All the All right, here. ask a question, <laughs> Move Jeremy. right along, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, favorite season, summer or winter? Oh, neither. Yeah, you, don't like the, you, don't like, you don't like to rake leaves, so I wasn't uh, thinking fall. Summer, summer for sure. 
just because I can get so much done outside. And I get to cut my grass once a week. Heck yeah. Summer, baby. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Uh... Jeremy. Yo. Oh, boy. If you could change, like, one law of, like, physics or nature, mm-hmm. like, what would it be? Gravity. Why is that? What would Like, what would you do? What would I do? Like, I would, if you uh, could just change gravity? I like, would fly so that I could fly to places. So if you get some sort of elevation without an airplane kind of thing. Okay. Superman-ish. Okay. But so, you realize everybody would be able to do this at the same time, right? Yeah, but then they're making it even better. Everybody just fly to one place and see each other. I feel like the FAA would have a heart attack. I think, I think that was a strange question. Dude. Planes oh, would. That was a strange question. Planes would be turned into space oh, shuttles. They would I, be oh, turned I, into people. I've got one for you. <laughs> yes. Ants, are you pro or con on them? Are you... And do you feel that ant farms are humane? Okay, so the little insects, not believe, like the yes, relative. Do you believe those are humane? <laughs> Shout out to my aunt Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> She's a really nice lady. I put you on my networking <clears throat> list. Please. Please give also, us money at some also point. Also, share your Netflix code with us. We need a new <laughs> password. Real talk, I understand the importance of ants. Like, I get that they have a job to do, and I understand that they're really important. I understand that, like, in the... In, like, the scheme of things? The, yeah, the grand scheme of things. They go. aerate yeah. the yeah. soil. They make everything better. Yeah. But, dude... Oh, Mark Level is watching. What up? What up, Mark? We'll see you in a couple months, buddy. Yeah. But real talk, I hate ants, man. Like... Dude, that's stupid, and you all know what I'm talking about. Probably. Fire ants? ants all of them. Pants? All of them. When you see that line of ants, like, going into your house, mm-hmm. and there's just, like, a shit ton of them, and they're just, like, swarming everywhere, and they're all in that same line, that, that is the most frustrating thing in the world. You've but obviously it's... never had a line of kids going into your house. <laughs> <laughs> I they learned that, after the first time. Don't I think, I think it house. also helps you find your pop tart that you drop while playing video games. Though, wouldn't that give you like the and eh, eh, it's there? Yes, I have gotten yelled at for that. All right, we got a question in the chat that I need to answer. This is from Bailey. It says, "Stanley, would you ever get a toupee, and would Jessica approve?" <laughs> Let me tell you yes, something. Both. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Bailey. This man, as in me, can grow a beautiful head of hair. Can he just doesn't? This all started because I wanted a dog. <laughs> it's a true story. This is hundred percent. This is one hundred percent true. Because I, of course, I said, "Babe, with the money I save from haircuts, can we use that money to get a dog?" And she said, "That sounds great." So I went to the store, bought a clipper, started cutting my own hair. Then I started cutting other people's hair because I had this stuff. Why not, right? Shout out to Stanley for <laughs> cutting my hair. A year goes by. I go, babe, I think it's time to get a dog. And she goes, I think you're right. So we go and we get our dog. His name is Deagle. Deagle! Listen. Deagle. I asked her. I was like, how much money did we save? She goes, oh, I don't know. I wasn't keeping track. Six or seven dollars. So now. (laughs) Six or seven dollars. So now that I've been doing this. For so long, I just continue to do it. Well, now you have to buy dog food. Because I don't want to grow out my hair. Because it takes time. Like, then it gets to the awkward phase. Nobody anyway. Ever, nobody ever thinks about that. If you, so, if you have a kid, you have to feed it. If you buy a dog, you have to feed it. I think That's people true. do think about that. Uh, Jeremy. Yes. If you could turn any movie into a musical, what would it be? Spaceballs. Oh, my God. Spaceballs, the musical. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Let's make it happen. That's boys. what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. That was quick. Okay, well, I saw Young Frankenstein. Lord Helmet. Like the musical. Yeah. And, God damn it. It was so good. Oh. Uh, good. 17 or 18 times and you're <laughs> off with the boys. Uh. Mark asked if we need cowbell. And I said, of course. And he always, said he has five. Always need more cowbell. So Aaron has one. You have five. Bring him to the show. Yep, yeah, let's go. Mark, Mark, if you bring everybody gets have a cowbell. cowbell off. If you if you bring cowbells to the show, I'll figure out how to use them in a drum solo. Cassie says, Not of course, space solo. balls. It's a classic. A drum solo. It's a classic. Okay, well, since Aaron and or Jeremy answered that question so fast, what about you? What movie would you turn into a musical? Oh fuck. Oh, I think I know. Dune. 
odd. And it's like, <laughs> what? You know what? It's kind of a musical though because the, the score of Dune. It's pretty epic. It's there's some pretty good. Yeah, no, I, there you know there's some pretty good music in Spaceballs too. But, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. I would turn the new Dune into a, into a musical, or I guess the old Dune because they run off the same book. All right. Shout out to Frank Herbert. Author of Dune. Right. My wife chimed in about the hair thing. Oh, okay. She's gonna. <laughs> Let's super. get the real. And I didn't. I did not leave. I left this part out, not on purpose. It just happened. He has to continue cutting his own hair because said dog is on prescription medication for the rest of his life. This is true. Hence the food, the prescriptions. He has a broken liver, which uh, if we don't give him the medication, it shunts toxic blood to his brain. And then he uh, traces the inside perimeter of the house continuously and doesn't know what to do. Um, so, real talk. My grandpa used to do that. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So you took him out back in old yellow. Last yeah, we winter. We his medication. <laughs> wow. <laughs> last winter we ended up taking him in. And it was either give him $70 of medication a month or... Get three thousand dollars worth of scans and still give him seventy dollars worth of medication a month. So, we bought a broken dog. We didn't know it. He's a good um, boy. He is. He is a, he's a great dog. He's a good boy. Can I? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Yes, Jeremy, please. Okay. So, so I asked you about the ants. <laughs> yes. Mm, pro con. You yes. Know where you stand? Yes. Stanley, where do you stand give me, on give me the squirrels with flamethrowers? One second. <laughs> Christine is here. One, two, three. Yo. Hey, Christine. Um, what up? You literally did a shout out in the middle of my question to you. Yeah, squirrels guys. with flamethrowers. I did. You said, "What do I feel? How do I feel about squirrels with flamethrowers?" Okay, yes, and <clears throat> so here's the thing. shout out to squirrels with flamethrowers. Here's the thing: <laughs> one, those are gonna be tiny little flamethrowers. Hail, hail the squirrels. Two, squirrels are super dumb, and their lifespan is what. Like six or seven days, man. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, it's not great. <laughs> it is no. You're. I see, you're, I see I think so much roadkill. Depends on which road they're running across. Dude, the time, no. You know? In all reality, I think you're right. I think it's like six or seven days. Like you rarely see an old squirrel. It's not. It's not a bee where it like, bites. That's like twenty four like hours, bud. No, dude. They just get hit by stuff, and they do. Th- Have you seen them climbing trees? They're not smart. Dude, real talk. I saw one like climbing down a tree. Yeah, and I was like, "How the? Because f- <laughs> they're just like hanging out, like ooh." Br- 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 br. It's because like, they got their Jeremy with like, about gravity. You, how do you anti gravity? Shout, shout down? out squirrels and <laughs> so squirrels, squirrels with flamethrowers. I don't. I don't know. I mean, if they're using them for good, yeah, fine. But if they're just using it to like terrorize and be annoying, like they already what are. They, what do they come across and like burn all your leaves up? You know, I mean, they're really helpful. Maybe. I, I, I truly do believe that leaves fall on the ground and are supposed to stay there. I don't think you're supposed to rake them up and put them in the bags. you know why leaves fall to the ground? Oh my gosh, Jeremy. Gravity. <laughs> this is the dumbest conversation I've had in my whole life. Uh, Aaron. Oh, There's way more shows, so don't count we'll your chickens before they hatch. The next right. 20 minutes at least. Aaron. Right, we got way more worse questions than that. What would be the creepiest thing you would say to a stranger on the street? <laughs> What would be, or what is the creepiest thing I've ever said to a stranger? Yes. <laughs> what would be is... Oh, hold on. Jerry Lynn is watching. Oh, One, two, three. Jerry what up, Jerry? Jerry Lynn? Oh. I said it. Oh, my God. You did. You're right. What's the creepiest thing that I could say to a stranger on the street? Yeah. <laughs> Have you met Stan? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Stan. <laughs> Wow, okay. He looked really good last night. Uh, Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> How uncomfortable would that person feel like this? Hopefully not uncomfortable at all. No, they would. <laughs> hey, Stan. Hey, Aaron. Somebody's going to be reporting to the HR office after this. That's all I know. <laughs> good when you thing tell, I'm HR. When you tell HR a joke, when you t- tell a joke so good HR wants to hear it? Hey, Stan. Yes, Aaron. Spell? Yes. Is this one of those things? No. Y E S. You could almost hear a pin drop. <laughs> so what 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 does that spell? Yes. What is E Y E S spell? Eyes. Damn it. I'm Bro, sorry. I won the third grade spelling bee. I won the third grade spelling bee. My name's Stan, and I won the third grade spelling bee. Hey, baby, I spelled eyes. 
Well, um, Tyler, do we need an audio oh, guy? Oh, I, I swear. Yeah, we might. Salters, and I will definitely let you know. <laughs> Oh, I spelled I said that day. I really hope you're proud of yourself, Jamie, for being so damn proud of spelling eyes. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself for not being able to stump me. Uh, Real quick, on a serious note, folks, we have merch for sale. Hold on, David's watching. One, two, three. Hi, David. (laughs) Yo, David. Yes. Welcome to the show. We have merch. What do we have for sale? We have we have so much to talk about. We have hats. (laughs) We have keychains. We have koozies. We have. Candles, Midnight Glow, it's awesome. It smells amazing. We had one burning here tonight. That is true. Elevated our, our playing for sure. We Get did us in a good so mood. great. Yeah, dude. You um, wouldn't believe it. We got uh, do rags. We've got uh, picks. Stickers. When did we get do rags? <laughs> You made do rags the other day. Those are bandanas. That's what a do rag is. No, it's not. Oh, we have bras. This is going to be a conversation for later. Okay, we need an African man or bras. We need yet. an African man in the chat. Tell us what a do rag is. We got some sweatshirts <laughs> oh uh, coming down the pipeline. We are working on a new, uh, new print for all you people who have bought shirts. We appreciate you. Keep buying the uh, shirts. It's keeping us and come to shows. Keeping us going. Come to shows. Yeah, support hey, us. Shout out to Fridays. By the way, hey Friday, that's a great segue. Like, what, what do we got going on on Friday, boys? Oh, funny, you should ask Aaron. We're going to be Fr- selling merch at the bar in West Dallas. We're just selling it. We're just going to yep, be there. Come see us. Merch. We also, uh, for no all music. your merch needs, me come merch. find us. Let me tell you guys something. I don't know what's about to happen with this band, but something's about to happen. Just so you know, your screen did not freeze. We are sitting here for. <laughs> Theatrical. No, listen. You do not want to miss the opportunity to catch a Midnight Crow free slash super cheap show. Right. Dirt cheap. Because something's Five happening. Five dollars is what it's I can't cost tell you, you what. Tonight. Friday. Night. I can't tell you when, but Friday. it's happening. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. At five. No, we can tell you when. Dollars. That's a different thing that I'm talking <laughs> about. Oh, okay, well, I'll so yes, serious. Friday. Mad like this. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You guys I can't are tell me. you when you can see us, and I will not tell you, period. Why would I do that? It's always the, it's always the eyes. Have <laughs> Why would I do that? The eyes have it, folks. <coughs> All right, who has the next question? <clears throat> I think I asked all my questions. Well, apparently last time Jeremy didn't get to ask all his questions. We I did make, not. I did not. We need to make sure he has questions. ample yeah, time to Stan ask questions. Never, Stan never asked who, who he would eat, marry, or kill, and then he ruined my joke about... Aaron, what is your yeah. favorite word to say? <laughs> Cuss word, regular word. Magnanimous. What makes you say? Uh, what What makes you happy when you say a certain word? And what is that? Oh, uh, he is really pondering. Shh, no, shh. I've got two. Okay, and I don't You're know. You're allowed which... to. Okay. I can have two. Yeah. If he can, if he can win a spelling bee in third grade, <laughs> you can. Have hey, two. Stan, spell butthole. <laughs> That's one of my favorite words. A A R O N. Butthole. Good comeback. good comeback. Good comeback. Anyways. So butthole is one of my favorite words. Butthole that makes you feel good to say that. It word. does. Can we just the tongue. can we just take a second to notice that Aaron has literally never said but said butthole in our presence? Oh, I've heard him say butthole. I just didn't know it was his favorite word. I don't think you have. I say. Oh, I have. Okay. Well, I haven't. Show me that butthole. Anyways. Right now. You won't gonna be on his signature sticks <laughs> you won't just like a little donut yep. a little chocolate starfish yep it's gonna be Aaron's. all right my second favorite word is troglodyte mm. troglodyte yeah that's a great word with yeah a tea? it's like someone who's been like living under a rock yeah. kind of with like, a t or an f troglodyte t. Trog- troglodyte troglodyte, yeah. okay. troglodyte. Okay. i heard it in jurassic okay. park okay two well i have a new favorite word of the week butthole Ooh. no I've never heard it till this week. It's crumungeon. Okay. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah, three good syllables. Uh-oh. Alex said, Aaron, show your butthole. No, no, no. This is going to go wrong. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing no, it. Stop no. it. Aaron, don't right, do right, it. Right. Oh, no. Right. I can't do it on Facebook, Are you ready boys? for the surprise? Hey, Here it is. check out my uh, premium Snapchat. <laughs> Can I answer the favorite word? That's Question? actually, I was going to ask you what your favorite oh, word okay, is. Okay, go ahead and ask me. What is, Stan, what is your favorite word? Onomatopoeia. Oh, 
Yeah, you heard it here, folks. So boring. Dude, you pick troglodyte. What is anaconomia? <laughs> I can send it to you in a text message later. No one's gonna come on. It's like YT slap the brat equals sign. Listen, I was driving the car. What do you want from me? Alex is watching one, two, three. What's up, Alex? What Alex? Up? Uh an onomatopoeia is like BAM, boom, Shazam. Onomatopoeia. Shout out Childish Gambino. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> one shout out to Adam on a Pia. Ooh, E. Ooh, E. One yeah. on a Pia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you mm-hmm. what you wrong with that. Excuse it's me. Like, it's like the old school, like, Batman. Like, pow. Bam. Blap. Is that what it is? Swank. Sport. Yeah, like, oh, yeah it's, it's, a, right. it's a word that makes the sound that it says. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks for. Yeah. <laughs> blorp. Aaron the Google Man. Blorp. <laughs> that was not a blorp. <laughs> 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 that was. <Pow. laughs> All right, I got two more questions. So All right, see if we can make it through this. Make Let's it try. Through it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it starts with uh. Stan. Yes. What makes you scream like a little girl? Oh, dude, I don't think anything. <laughs> Never stub your toe on a My table. Or... And I'm so that doesn't nice make me like. Spell the word wrong. Scream. That makes me like. <laughs> I'm such you know? a man. You never walked, in a, you never walked in on a mouse. You're not afraid of mice, dude. You know, bitch. <laughs> Shout out to Elmo. Anyways. <laughs> On top of spaghetti. All right, so, all right, so you don't have an answer. Okay. No, 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 no. Have you ever screamed like a little girl about something? I'm sure when I was a child. Um, uh, I'd say the closest thing that I get to now is when I get woken up. What about the little cackle that you do that sounds like a what? little girl? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's not a scream. Yeah, it's close enough. It sounds like a little girl. It's an arpeggiated <laughs> laugh. No. Um, sounds, like a, laugh. sounds like somebody choking a parrot. <laughs> Um, throw some vibrato the in closest there. thing that I get to a scream is when I get woken up from a deep sleep with like a hamstring cramp so and like your leg straightens out and like you can't move so you're saying <laughs> this is how so I die so you're saying there's a chance that this could be a okay that's my impression of like when your water pump is going bad out of yeah, your car yeah okay. you start it's like <laughs> that's normally, oh the, normally the belt I hear it yes that's, it's usually the belt on a tank <laughs> No, it's usually the water pump. <clears throat> that's a belt on a tensioner. But anyways. Okay. It's the all right, fins all right. on the blade scraping. <laughs> this is getting out of control. So we're going to do it one last. flux capacitor. I'm going to ask one more question. <laughs> Continuum transfunctioner. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I don't know anything about cars. Yep, anyway. So my last question is, is uh, do you guys sleep well at night knowing that... Oh, no. <laughs> Don't even let him finish. <laughs> nope. And there you have it, folks. Nope. Shout out to not fucking sleeping. Right? So, yeah, I haven't fucking slept a good night's sleep. Could you finish your question, though? No, 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 it's just wasted. I'll have to finish it next I'm week. Sorry. So Please tune in next qu- week for the rest of the question. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We love you guys. We love the support. Love to see you on Friday. 72. We have lots of shows coming up. Uh, stick around. It's going to be a great summer. Um, Here... Here's a here's a fun fact about seventy two, is Friday is the twenty seventh, which means that seventy two is the inverse, inverse. of seventy two. Holy which shit! Which is crazy. Which just shows that uh, seventy two has a lot of meaning in Aaron's life. And it's we true. really have no idea what's going on. So yeah. it's just a quirk, quick yes. coincidence. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Tonight on Midnight Crow Mechanic Hour. <laughs> <laughs> If so, can explain uh, what an engine is. That'd be great. Yes, yes. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that later. It's the thing that goes. <laughs> 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 you know that anyway, thing that makes the blender go around. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great hanging out with everybody. Thank you for asking your questions. Thanks for listening to the questions that you didn't ask. Uh, yep. We will see you Friday at the bar. Come out Show buy some merch. Oh, okay, come out <laughs> buy some merch. <laughs> Do that if you want, whatever. Yeah, we don't judge. To, feel free to ask us a question. We accept yeah. DMs. 
Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And Slide uh, on into them, right? help Slide us into the DMs. help us quit our jobs so that we can go back to this it's video. Right. Support Aaron's. See all the people that commented on page, it, please. And then the when we fetish. come through to play the Pfizer Forum or Turner Hall, we can say, give these guys free beer for the night. Yeah. Because we will do that. I Show want me your bottle. I'll, I'll give you free I'll beer give you for drinks. the night. Okay, that's not <laughs> what I said at all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, paying attention. So I just kind this of picked up where I thought you had. Has been another edition of the questions you didn't ask. I'm Stan. Jeremy. What up? Have a good night. <laughs>